Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Hi everybody, it's Miss Denise. I'm back for another story. And here's another story that we got from the bag that you picked up. So make sure you go get it. I'll wait. It's called The Snowy Day. You can get it and we'll read along with it. What do you think, Lammy? Oh, you like that idea. Yes, the kids got these books in the bags. They got special bags with fun books to read. So everybody ready? All the big people are ready. The little people are ready. Put on your listening ears. <coughs> Bubble in your mouth. Sit up straight. And let's read The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. We haven't had too much snow yet, only a little the other day. <coughs> but sometimes when there's a big snowstorm, this is what can happen. And this is a story about a little boy, and his name is Peter. And look at he's walking in the snow, and he left footprints. Oh, look at that. The end page just has Peter walking through the snow. <gasps> look at these end pages. Beautiful snowflakes falling. Another title page. It's called The Snowy Day. Oh, and look at this title page with an illustration. And it has Peter sliding down a big mountain of snow. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen through the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. And then he walked with his toes pointing in like that. Look at, they look different. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. I wonder what he found to make a new track. Oh, it was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Oh no, look what he does. He knocked the snow right out of the tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. And then he kept walking along, leaving his footprints, right? He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. <gasps> Look at they're throwing snow at each other. You only throw snow when the other person agrees to it. You don't throw it at someone who doesn't want you to. So Peter said, no, I'm not big enough yet. So he made a smiley snowman. And he made angels. Look at that. He laid in the snow and he made snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. And slid all the way down. Oh, that looks like fun. He climbed up and slid down. He picked up a handful of snow, and another, and still another. He packed it round and firm, and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Oh, he got to go in a nice warm tub to warm up. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Oh, look how sad he is. What happened to it? Hmm. While he slept, he dreamt that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. 
and the snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Oh, look at that. We had more snow coming. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Oh, you think they played all over again in that snow? That was cool. What'd you think about that, Lammy? I know, it would be fun to play in the snow like that, wouldn't it? Yes, when the snow comes, we have to get dressed really warm like Peter did. Put on our heavy coat and hat and scarf and gloves. And we only go out when the big people say we can. And we only throw snow at people who say, okay, let's play together. All right, see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.